Hello, good evening. Good evening, Miss. Um, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm fine to you. Okay, uh, we're going to wait just um, four minutes. We're going to start at eight o'clock, okay? Uh, okay. Just split, uh, keep connected. I'm trying okay. just to set some things here. Before okay. Pushing. Okay, okay. Good evening, everybody. Good evening.
Okay, um, good evening to everybody. Uh, we're going to start with um, the video conference right now. Um, welcome to Ms. Sandoval, Mr. Vasquez, uh, Ms. Molina. And let me see who else is connected. Um, Ms. Galdames, Mr. Moran, and also Ms. Mira. Okay, welcome. Um, well, uh, before to start, I, I, I always like to uh, give a space in order to solve some questions. Maybe uh, you have seen the exercises and, um, and you try to solve and something's wrong. And, and that's one of the reasons I like it. I like, I mean, um, to give this, this kind of space in order to answer all your, all your questions in case you have it. So uh, this is the right moment uh, if you want to ask some, okay? Okay, can you hear me? Yes, Mister. Okay, very good. Uh, do you have any question, Miss Andovan? Yes, I have any question of the other unit. Okay, tell me, wanna try to solve it? Let me see my platform. Okay, go ahead. Um, 3.2 as where x number four. Okay, uh, 3.2, let me see. Okay. Okay, uh, very good. Um, in this case, we have a knowledge check uh, and the instruction sets, read the following sentences, identifying relative clause, then write the same sentence at commas where it's necessary, and remember capital letters and periods. Okay, you, you said that you have problems in which one? Yes. Which one? Number one, two, three, four, or five? Or six? Uh, number four. Number four, One, okay. Two, three, I, I finish. Okay, uh, you have a Bogota, which yes. is situated in high plateau in, in Central Colombia, has frequently changing weather. Okay, what, what's the problem there? Uh, I write in uh, Bogota, come with is situated on high plateau in central Colombia. Con has frequently weather. Okay, okay. In this case, means uh, we are going to identify what is the main clause here. Um, well, in the case of Bogota. Uh, which is situated in high the central Colombia has frequent changes. Okay, in this case, we're going to identify the um, the let me see the relative clause. Okay, the relative clause it uh, start with which is situated in a high plateau uh, in central Colombia has frequent change in weather. Uh, okay, uh, in this case, you are going to identify where to use the comments. That's, that's what you are going to do. Um, and the answer for it is Bogota, comma, which yes. is situated on a high plateau in central Colombia, comma, has yes. frequently changing weather. Point. Yes. Okay. Do you have it that way? See? Si. Okay, let me type it for you here. Oh, I see what's the problem here. 
Okay, this is a, a mistake from the, um, of the platform because uh, you must use uh, together Bogota, comma, uh, which, so you have to delete the space between the comma and which because this is an error of the platform. Uh, try to do it that way. Can you write the answer in the chat, please? Sure. Um, well, uh, well, I, I'm going to do it because the problem there is that uh, you must delete an space between the comma and which because uh, the platform doesn't have it. That's the reason why it's wrong. Just give me a second. I'm trying to find the chat box. Okay, there you have. Okay, can you see the the answer there? Please just copy and paste. Okay. I have other question. Let me okay, see. Tell me. Tell me. Um, three point five in the listening uh, part two, uh, acts number two. You mean listening part? Which one? Can you give me the exact number? That's mean 2.2? 2. 2.5. 2. 2.5, 2. okay. Other question. 2.5, uh, listening part two. Okay, give me a sec. You need 2.5, listening part. I'm trying to look for it, give me a second. Okay, there I have the listening part. It's mean. Hey, okay, Miss uh, Sandoval, in the point mm -hmm. two point two, I have that knowledge check. That's the one you yeah. refer to. The structure listen again. Type in the city fuel. But you mean two point two, right? Uh -huh. You mean 2.2? My two? answer, my answer is cloudy, foggy, one, and beautiful. Both speaking about that. Uh, I don't know why, but I don't have the same exercise. Miss Andoval, please tell me again. Uh, the exercise that you are asking me is 2.2. Two. Uh, let me, um, this is other question. In the same exercise. Mm -hmm. That means three point uh, four or five in this case. Uh, three point point five. Ah, uh, 3.5, okay, sorry, I, I, I didn't understand. Okay, thank you, Mr. Moran. Hello? Hello? Okay. Hello? <laughs> okay, just give me a second, I'm, I'm going there. Okay, um, which exercise is no. you refer to number uh, two, three, four, or five? Let me see. Part two. 
uh, yes, I'm in the part two. Okay, uh, in this case, you have a blank space, right? But yes, it doesn't yes. have it doesn't have the instruction. Yes. Okay, in this case, just write a landmarks. Okay, it's landmarks, cuisine, nightlife. If you use one of them, I'm going to type it. Please just use one of them. Give me a second. I'm going to type it in the chat box. Okay, there you have. In this case, you can do it in another way because it doesn't have a, any instruction. Okay, thank you, mister. Just write one of them. Okay, guys, uh, now we're going to go to the uh, class that we had for tonight, and we're going to be solving uh, something called past model verbs. Well, in this kind of uh, past model verbs, uh, maybe we know those. Maybe we saw, we saw the exercises that we have in a platform. Maybe uh, we studied these uh, well in the university or many other places that you uh, could be studying before. Uh, well, the past modal verb. Do you know what are the modal verbs? Cause, can, must, shock. Amazing, amazing. Those are the modal verbs. Okay. Uh, but in this in this case, we uh, well, you already mentioned some of them. We're going to be referring to the past modal verbs. Uh, we know the modal verbs are a uh, can, a uh, may, uh, should, or or will. We can also include there, uh, let me see, shall too. That's one of the, the, the examples that we have. Uh, but, uh, but for this class, we're going to see the past form of them. Uh, you, do you know what is the past form of the modal verb can? Could. Could. Amazing. In the case of may, do you know the past form? What? Sorry, you mean? Might. Okay, very good. Uh, well, in, in those cases, we have uh, like could, we have like uh, should, there is a, 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 another one. In the case of uh, this model where we have would too, okay? We're going to see some, some, some of them in this class. Uh, first of all, we wanna see this screenshot that I, uh, I took from the platform where we uh, wanna see um, what are the past model verbs and also the phrasal model of obligations. Um, as you know, in the platform, uh, you have an exercise, you have a video that we're going to watch tonight. In there, we have some phrases like you have, what's supposed to, had to, and need to. All those Phrasal model, uh, uh, phrasal model words uh, are in the past. Also, uh, they can have like different uses in English. For instance, uh, if we use model words, sometimes uh, we can use it to express good ideas. We also uh, can you use modal verbs in order to uh, request something? Uh, also, in order to uh, express an obligation or express something that is necessary to do. Okay. 
Uh, this can be also like uh, an advice or can be taken as an advice or can be taken as an obligation. Uh, in the case of should, uh, well, you know, the, the, the meaning of it, if I say uh, you should have stay home uh, and study, this is an advice that someone uh, is receiving right now, but it's supposed that he has to do it uh, previously, okay? So it's like a kind of advice. If I say you should have stay at home, but if you notice know it's in past, that's a possibility. If you were study uh, at home, in this case, you maybe have a good read. Uh, also, we have the, the, the phrase that it says was supposed to, uh, where we want to find like uh, the, the, the sentence that it says, I was supposed to be studying this weekend. Uh, that means that we, we're expressing a, a, a we're expressing something that is required uh, to do, but if you notice there, it's, it says it's, uh, it was supposed. That means that uh, I have to do this, but I didn't do it. Uh, also, we have a, they, they have to, uh, and we have the sentence, the example here, I have to wear a uniform. So that's mean when I, when I say I have to, that's mean an obligation because I'm, uh, I am forced to do something. If I say uh, I have to wear a uniform, that's mean I have to do it. Okay, I have to do it. And also I have the uh, sentence here that it says didn't have to go uh, or didn't have to. Uh, which express a no obligation in a sentence. That's mean uh, that is not necessary to do it. Okay, it's not necessary. Uh, the example that we, that we have here, it says, uh, I didn't have to go with my friends, but I did. It was not an obligation to go, to go with my friends. Okay, it was not necessary, but I did it at the end. Okay, I did it. Uh, and the last one, uh, need to, uh, this express something that is, uh, that it supposed was necessary to do it. And uh, we have the example that we have here, it says, uh, I thought I need to have more clothes. As you know, I thought, uh, that's mean that right now it is necessary because I didn't do it before. But right now, it's so necessary. Uh, well, in this case, we have just some uh, past model verbs and, and some phrasal model of obligations um, that can be helpful when we have a conversation. And that's what we are going to do right now. You're going to be working in teams. Uh, before going there and create a break of truth, I would like to know if you have any question of this uh, modal verbs. Do you uh, do you know uh, any of them before? Okay, Miss Galdames, have you ever seen Have you ever seen these modal verbs? Mr. Morales. Uh, hi, I'm there. See, I, I have seen this, this, this kind of verb uh, in the past a lot of times, and it's not too difficult to, to use, right? But it has to sound difficult to, to use at the same time, right? So like, uh, yeah, they yes are, or not. <laughs> they're kind of difficult, but not too difficult because uh, with this uh, kind of model words, it's supposed that we are just giving advice. In the case, uh, if we use it in present, uh, it's supposed that we are using 
just like an, as an advice or as a suggestion or uh, as an obligation in some, in some cases. But in this case, uh, we're using in past, it, it, it suppose that uh, the advice could be better if someone uh, if someone uh, uh, gave us we, or I mean uh, can give us before I mean uh, uh, yes before doing an action uh, in some cases so these are good in order to express ideas that could happen in case of something. So that, that's the purpose of it. Uh, this advice in case of, uh, Mr. Vasquez, you raise your hand, can you uh, tell me? Yes, yes, I, I didn't get uh, what are we supposed to do during the exercise? Well, I haven't, I haven't tell you yet. I haven't tell you yet. Uh, we're just checking the past model verbs. Uh, I think that you know some of them, uh, and I think you know how to use it. Uh, also, uh, here we have some examples of it. And, and the activity, well, I'm going to explain this. The activity is going to be like um, a kind of role play uh, using the past model verbs. You're going to be working in pairs and you're going to be creating a, uh, a conversation using past model words. Uh, well, the, in the case of the role play, you decide you wrote and uh, you decide what do you want to talk about. That's a free activity that you are going to be developing in pairs. Uh, well, the main, the, the, the purpose of it is create a to create a conversation. That's what you are going to do. Create a conversation using the past model verbs. Is it clear what I'm saying? Yes, okay, very good. So if you have any question, please let me know right now because I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Okay, everything is okay, right? Very good. And you're gonna be working in pairs. So there we have. Uh, please accept the invitations and go to the uh, to the room. It's gonna be assigned automatically. Uh, and work with your uh, classmate. If you have any question, please just uh, use the button that. Uh, said help okay so there you have it and please go to the breakout rooms see you in i mean let me see see you at 8 35 and then we're going to be developing a role play here in this video conference in the general video conference okay is it clear Is it clear, guys? Yes or not? Yes, Mr. Okay. Yes, it is. Yes. Ne Neftali, you want to say something? So you mentioned that we have to create a conversation using the birds that you... Um, the model birds. You, you the, show model in, birds. the model birds. You show yes. in the, the before chart. Yes, but remember that you have to use it in pass because the, the, this role play is going to be based on the model birds in pass, uh, that means could, would, okay? So, let's see, uh, I'm going to create this and please accept the invitations. See you in 10 minutes. Hey, hello. Hello, Isaac. What's up? What's up? So, um, uh, what role do you think uh, we can, we could use right now? I don't know. I I just think that 
that we can uh, improve um, improvise something like I don't know a conversation like a friends and stuff like those right okay talking about I don't know <laughs> every single thing that we can we can talk right I don't know do you have any any topic that you want to to, to use to to, to to create or, or make up a, a story or something like that? Oh, maybe, maybe. I, I just was uh, thinking when, when the teacher was uh, calling about the, the past models, okay. I was I was thinking about a um, day uh, at six o'clock uh, at the evening, uh, I was supposed to have uh, a class but the organizers uh, sent me a notification telling that the class was suspended. Okay. So uh, I was supposed to, I mean, I should have been uh, studying English because I had to, I need to, to, uh, complete the exercise from unit two. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. And what about you? Well, actually I was, uh, I was watching the, the platform uh, a few minutes ago. And uh, one of the things I, I, I was watching was some exercise. I know that is my, my, uh, my obligation to, to have a review of the, of the old all, all Prata for every single day, right? So I should uh, I should study a lot because if I uh, I not study, it's it's, it's clearly that uh, that I I will uh, fail uh, the exam. I will fail uh, the whole platform. So I I need to study more. I should study more, and I must to the more right yeah uh, i think uh, we were supposed to to study uh, since this weekend uh, i i'm not sure but uh, but i guess we uh, should have completed unit one yeah right yeah actually i think they can do uh, something like that uh, Okay, let's continue, Rafael, in my house, it's hot right now. And I think so, uh, I had to use a uh, different clothing because oh. it's, a, it's a hot, a little hot. Sorry, no, a very hot. You should try to wear something more light clothing. Yes. Okay. Yes. Maybe tomorrow it either is uh, the same weather. For warm, for warm climate, it should yes. be good have a uh, electric fan or something. Can... Maybe like, maybe like that. Yes. And uh, you should, and uh, uh, I recommend it to you, you should be use air conditioning, air conditioning. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. My television is uh, very hot, very high. Well, In yes. my case, my house is warm in the day and it's cold in the night. Oh, really? Yes. Where do you live? In, in Huayua. Ah, beautiful. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> uh, okay, Miss Mira, uh, you don't have um any classmate to work that's right nobody nobody show up oh okay give me a second 
I'm going to move you to, uh, <clears throat> to let me see, room number uh, four. Okay, I'm going to move you there and I'm going to explain to your classmates what, what you are going to do, okay? Okay. Sorry for the inconvenience. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, okay, um, good evening, Miss Caldames and, uh, and Mr. Carrillo. Uh, good evening. Okay, well, uh, Miss Mira is going to join to this group because she doesn't have uh, any classmate to work. So please can uh, include her in, in your uh, role play. Okay. Okay. Yes, okay. yes. We can. Okay, very good. We have we have a question. Are okay. we going to to uh, write the conversation? Sorry, what what do you ask? Are we going to do to write the conversation using? No, 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 no. It's not necessary because you have a good level of English. You can maybe improvise something. Uh, just try to uh, follow an idea. Okay, mm -hmm. so, so you have. A, uh, an advanced level of English, you can develop any conversation. Just try to include all the um, uh, all the modal words. Okay. Are we going to express our conversation for the whole class? Yes, in a general uh, room. Okay. So you are going to have around two three minutes in order to develop. Okay. And then we have uh, some doubts about this uh, the task. Okay. Are we going to uh, generate a conversation using the modal verb, but only in the past uh, tense? Mm, it's mm, it's not in that way. Oh well. Um, in the case of the modal verbs, must be in the past. As you saw the examples. Uh, well, I'm going to show you uh, the sentence that I have here. Just give me a second. Okay. Uh, okay. Here. Uh, you notice in this case we have sentences sentences like um, I should have stayed home and study. Maybe you can include a typo sentence. You, sorry, using uh, you should have stayed home and study, like something like that. Uh, I mean, yeah. using the model in that way, like uh, an advice that you give to someone, and uh, but. This advice uh, is in the past. I, I don't know if you understood. Okay. It's supposed that, that this could be an, an advice that you could develop, but you didn't do. Okay. Uh, for example, I can say that uh, a partner was supposed to to be in my uh, break room, but nobody show up. Okay, yes, that, that's a good example of it, using what's supposed to. Okay. Okay, very good. So I'm going to leave you because uh, some other uh, students are asking me for help. Sure. How many times do we have to do this? Uh, uh, you're gonna have you're gonna have uh, ten minutes, but I think I'm going to extend it to uh five minutes more okay five minutes more okay, um, okay. do you okay. think it's enough or you need uh, more time yes i think it's enough yes. it's enough <laughs> yeah <laughs> we have to think a lot uh, uh what to talk about <laughs> okay so go ahead okay thank you okay thank you thank you Okay. So thank you for including me in your chat room. <laughs> okay, my pleasure, Miss. Uh, what, how... what you say? I should spend time with my friends. Yes, I I should have you spend a lot of time with your friends in a taco. Hmm. I can't understand well. Uh, 
Can you help me, teacher? I try, I try, to, I try to say to Rafael, uh, I should have, he has spent a lot of time with her, with, with his friend in Ataco. No? So far? Sorry, mister, what, what is that? Okay, uh, I what, uh, for me, yeah. I should have uh, about Rafael spend a lot of time with his friend in Ataco. Okay, that, that's a good advice. And also it is in pass. I think you can include it in, the, in your conversation. Remember that what you are going to do is a conversation, okay? Okay. It's like an, a role play. Uh, a role play could be like two friends talking, a teacher and a student, a, the doctor and the patients, uh, something like that. This is a, a, a this is what oh, is yeah. closure, sorry. Just a, just a conversation, including all those elements that I mentioned before. Uh, in this case, uh, the past model verbs. Then, teacher, we should use, use the past modal verbs during the no, conversation. No, no, not all of them. Not all of them. Just uh, the ones that you think uh, can can match with your conversation. Ah, okay. Yes, not all of them. So go ahead. Well, Mr. Mendoza, and why is that you get called by the nickname of Chino? Conversation. Oh, that teacher. <laughs> Hello, good evening. So, so go ahead. So I'm just okay. uh, visiting you. So. Okay, teacher. Hi, Vanessa. How are you? Hi, Anna. I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, what do you do with the weekend? I didn't see you in the office. Uh, I could be in the office because I get sick. I had the flu. I had a flu. Oh, really? Maybe you should go to the doctor to see what happened to you. It's a good idea. Yeah, you should drink a lot of liquids to feel better and take pills. Yes, yes. The teacher, uh, the doctor, if the doctor advised <laughs> me that too, it's a good idea, drinks a lot of uh, liquors and waters and different kind of liquors. Thank you, it's a good um, idea. Okay, great. I hope you feel better the next week. Thank you. See you. See you later. <laughs> Okay, very good. That that's a good conversation. Very good. The only thing that I can get, I, I can tell you is that um, you must include the model verb but in past. What happened with it? When we use the model verb in past, it's supposed that a uh, we have received like an advice, or but we didn't do that that, that advice. Uh, in the case you say you should visit the doctor, okay, uh, we're saying like uh, an advice that is going to happen in the future. But if we say like, uh, well, uh, you should visit the doctor and you could be better uh, at home if you uh, if you uh, if you were if you uh, well if you follow my my not my advice. Something like that, because it's supposed that the advice happened in the past, or happening happening in the past, and uh, that person didn't follow our advice. That, that's the only thing that, that I can say uh, to the conversation. For the rest, uh, everything is okay. Like uh, you should visit doctor. Okay, you should visit that. that uh, you should visit it. Uh, the doctor, something like that. Remember okay. that the sentence must be in the past. Ah, okay. But if they have to, uh, I use the have to. 
Yes, you have to, that's an obligation and, and you can use it too. You have to visit okay. the, the doctor, something like that. So, but remember that the sentence, the whole sentence must be um, written in the past. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to move on to a different group, okay? Okay. That kind of thing. And actually, I I get that, that idea really, really, really great because every single time when I when I was studying other academy, they 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 told me what what are you saying? You say twenty? Right. Yeah, I say twenty because a native speaker told me that that, that twenty is the correct way to say twenty. So yes, so that, that's right to to change that. Then no, no, we are not speaking like like like, like a UK or like. A, like a British people, no, we are trying to, to speak like a, like like a people from the United States. So try to say twenty. No, no, I can say. It, right? So I don't get it in my mind. It's very totally different. Like a, I don't know all the kind of things that they 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 told me right. Like a cow, the for the expression that the how to pronounce a little a uh, little parts of the speech right. It's a little, I don't know. It's a little bit confusing because uh, not every single person has that that they all. The all or the hundred percent or the or the reason the whole world, right? Because it's correct when you say twenty. It's recorded when you say twenty or like uh, Australia say they say twenty or I can't remember how how the way they say some numbers, right? So it's a little uh -huh. bit confusing. At the same time, it's it's, it's amazing and and uh, it's really great to to get information of the other cultures they they, they speak they, they they talk, right? Yes, it's very nice when when you. Uh, are uh, getting the, the skill to catch uh, several accents. Yeah. So it, it, it's nice. I, I, I just like like you. I I feel more comfortable with a UK accent. I like yeah. more that accent. But for me, uh, since uh, uh, the almost the majority of, of uh, sounds that comes to me are in American English. Uh, yeah. So maybe sometimes it is easier to speak like American or, yeah. to, uh, or, or at, least to, at least to try to speak like American. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, actually I, I remember because I, I have a, a, a girlfriend from the United Kingdom for that, as oh, as I mentioned, yeah. And you. she, yeah, and she told me a lot of times, your your English is like a, like a, like a ripish or stuff like that. What do you say that? Yeah, you you, you speak like a, like like a terrorist. What? Yeah, because <laughs> you, you're really rude with your with your English. She said she said right. Try to speak like uh, like uh, like us. The, the, she said that. What? See, yeah, try to, to, to improve. Well, notice in that native speaker from Spain, they try to, to, to copy our, our, our accent. And as the same way, we we try to copy their accent when when we try to speak Spanish. Uh -huh. But but you 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 the people from America, they didn't, they they, they don't, she said. And I say okay, because just try to speak like a terrorist. So so it's really 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 bad. She said, <laughs> and, then, and well, she tried to correct me every single single part of the speech that that, that, that I try to, to 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 say right. But uh, as you mentioned before, it's a little bit uh, easier to to get a uh, accent from the United States because we we are. Uh, Surrounded. Around, uh, yeah, surrounded uh, about the, 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 that kind of accent, right? But I prefer uh, English, English uh, like the Kindle or even uh, Australian accent because I think that's the correct way to, to pronounce every single, every single, uh, every single word, every single number. I, I don't know, but uh, it's something that, that, that this everything on you, right? It's up to you. Because yes. you have to the ocean to, to speak like that or speak uh, another way. So I don't know. Did you try to, to get a, a job in a call center or another kind of. of, of...
Okay, um, good evening. So to everybody, so I think that uh, all of you are back. Um, well, we, who is the first group that's going to participate? Okay. Um, which group is going to be the first one? Nobody? Okay. Uh, okay. 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 We are going to do the following. I'm going to name to someone. Let me see. Mr. Carrillo. Uh, are you there? Hello, teacher. Hello. No. Well, uh, where you work? I mean, uh, who was working with you? Maritza and Maria. Well, we have we have a little problem because we were starting to uh, I don't know what is the word to to construir nuestro diálogo. I work constructing it. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do is that uh, let me see. I'm going to create. Mister. Okay, tell me. Can can I go out now? I need to do some time. What do you say? Sorry, Miss Miss Adama. Can I go out now? I need to do some time. Ah, sure. Go ahead. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I hope see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. See you tomorrow, Miss. Well, uh, guys, um, Mister Miss. I mean, Miss Galdame, Miss Mira, and Mr. Gary are going to move to uh, the room that you were working and uh, try to create your conversation, okay? Okay, Mr. Thank you for the time, for the extra time. Okay, give me, just give me a second, because I have something okay. here. Uh, Okay, Miss Mr. Carrillo, Miss Okay, are you please just uh just accept the invitation there? For the rest, we're going to keep here and uh, let's see if, if you uh, can develop your exercise. Mr. Morales, I think you are uh, ready in order to participate, right? Yeah, of course. So, uh, first of all, <laughs> oh, firstly, I, I must say that we we were talking about other things, other things. But I, <laughs> okay. I, I, yeah, yeah, I try to make, we try to, to mix up a lot of things and at the same time. But I, I can, I think that we are ready to, 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 okay, okay. to make go up ahead. something. Okay, okay, so, go ahead. perfect. So uh, I was working with uh, uh, Charlie Vasquez. Okay, Mr. Charlie. Mr. Vasquez. Okay. So okay. Uh, we, we were talking about so the, the difficulties that we, we were uh, experienced uh, on the platform, but uh, we noticed that we should to, to, to study a lot because we have a little uh, a little of a mess of stuff that uh, and the part that you have to write in down the platform or the fill up. Uh, the space, so we need to, to to improve a lot, but we must study a lot to to get a, a more confidence to fill up uh, on the platform, right? So uh, Charlie thinks uh, the same thing that that, that, that that I already mentioned, right? So I, I don't know if we can hear uh, to Carlos to use some verse of this, right? Yeah, thank you, Isaac. Uh, yeah, as a as he, he said, um, we we was talking about, uh, for example, I, I 
I should have uh, complete the exercise uh, from unit one uh, on, in the on the weekend. So I I actually I, I uh, started to work uh, since yesterday, and I was supposed to to be working since last week, but I have. Uh, uh, some uh, other activities to fulfill, so I I I couldn't do that. But uh, we were talking with Isaac that uh, if we uh, want to take advantage of this course, uh, we are supposed to to go uh, with the rhythm that that is needed. Uh, for example, uh, right now, I, I, I don't know, uh, we have to, to complete the unit three for uh, this week, something like that. And I must add that something, uh, the platform must be friendly with us <laughs> because uh, you have uh, to fill up, but you don't get the whole information like a period, yeah, it's true that, that sometimes you can read that the, the platform said, oh, you don't have to, to, to put periods, capital letters, but I think that the, the, uh, the platform must be uh, a little bit friendly with us, a little bit explanation, so more explanation about that, about how to fill it uh, on, the, on the, that kind of space, right? And I think it's, it's it. That's it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, well, you are talking about those things. It's okay. Um, in the case of, of of the, let me see, Miss Garcia, are you ready to develop your role play? Sorry. Are you ready to develop your role play? About the, the, the activity. I mean, the, the, I mean the activity, okay, the, the conversation. Okay. The conversation. Uh, I I work with Miss Sandoval. Uh, oh, I, okay, got it. That means that you can develop right now. Uh, Miss Pastor. Miss Pastor. Yes, sir. Sure. I work with Anna. And we prepared the conversation. Okay, are you ready? Uh, let's see, Miss Miss yes. Molina. Miss Molina, can you please? Yes, talk please Okay, so go ahead. Develop your role your conversation. Okay. Hi, Vanessa. How are you today? Hi, Anna. I'm good. Thank you. How do you feel? Are you still sick? I should have listened to you and visited the doctor last week. Maybe you should go this week to see what happened to you i had a great grand flu in the, during that week yeah you might have both pills in that moment to stop the flu yes i should have both in that moment the pills but yes. i can't probably I you should drink a lot of Sorry? Yes, you should drink a lot of liquids to feel better yes. and take the pills yes. at, no, at the moment. Yes. <laughs> yes, that is what the doctor said, that he had to drink a lot of liquids because uh, in that moment, I good better. I feel better right now. Thank you for that okay. uh, idea. Bye. Okay, no problem, Anna. I hope to you feel better. See you later. Bye. See you later. Okay, okay. amazing, amazing, very good. That's a, a good conversation. Um, well, guys, let me just queue, close the rooms. Um, just give me a second. Okay, guys, um, well, time is over, um, and, and I think that 
um, uh, everybody participate. I don't know if someone is missing. Let, just let me tell something to Miss Mira and Miss Sandoval and also, uh, who else? Give me a second. Moises. Moises. Who's Moises? I don't remember his last name, but I think he has a Moises his Carrillo. Oh, okay, okay. Very good. Um, so uh, we're going to develop the role plays, uh, the, the, the ones that are missing. So we're going to develop all the role play tomorrow. Please be ready because we're going to do it. We're going to do it at the beginning of the uh, video conference, okay? So, okay. Ms. Valdames, uh, please Here. just uh, be ready for tomorrow. Uh, before starting the video conference, you're going to develop your um, conversation. Okay. okay, we'll be ready. We'll be ready. Okay. Okay. Uh, if you want, you can contact to Miss Mira and also to Mr. Carrillo. Okay. So uh, that's all I'm for here. tonight, guys. Uh, uh, thank you for being here, and I hope to see you tomorrow at eight o'clock again. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bless you, everyone. Good night, everybody. Good night.